Welcome back to our F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. This is the French Grand Prix for Season 3. If you missed the last episode, it was a crazy one. I don't think I have ever gotten so lucky in one of my career mode videos ever before. If you missed that video though, I will link to it in the description down below along with a link to the AR12 store. Seriously, thank you guys so much for all of the support on the raid hoodies as well as our raid keychains and thank you so much for sending in all of your photos if you guys do want to get featured in a video like this you can send photos to me on twitter on instagram or our discord server anyways if you do want to support the channel click the link in my description and pick some merch up for yourself seriously thank you so much for all of the support it means so so much anyways back to formula one let's see what we've got we've got a bunch of time on our activity timeline before the French Grand Prix and how are we gonna spend it? Definitely a team building event would be good. Our upgrades have been failing recently so let's do that along with a chassis department. Let's go for that. And then you know what? We might as well wrap it up with three days on a second driver PR filming. We get some money. We get some acclaim. Never really a bad thing. That looks, that looks good to me. After that we come to our facilities where honestly I do don't know what I should be spending money on. Please, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I, I seriously don't know what to do. Anyways, I guess after that, we can jump over to our R&D tree where we unfortunately don't have too many resource points. We've had a lot of our upgrades fail, like I was saying. However, if things go well, we should have two ultimate upgrades coming to the card today. And you know what? We are not gonna stop there. Let's go with even more upgrades, an ultimate brake upgrade for our car. We are going to be the master of sending it around the circuit. You know what, actually? Let's rush this upgrade and get it before the Austrian Grand Prix. Like, how bad could it go? Let, let, let's try it. It's our first one. Unfortunately, though, that leaves us with, like, no resource points to spend on anything else. So, I, I, I guess we're done. We don't need a new engine. We don't need to sign any of our sponsors. The standings are looking very good for the NCP squad. I guess let's just go advance some time and let's see what upgrades get fitted to the car. There's two upgrades already on. Our chassis department stuff. We're getting money from our sponsors. That's looking amazing. And now best of all, if I head over to our R&D tree, yo, look at that. We are like tied with Mercedes for the fastest car. This is going to be a very interesting race. So welcome to a very, very sunny France for qualifying practice. As per usual, was no problem. Anyways, though, as I was saying, welcome to a very, very sunny France. I've actually taken a look at the weather to see what's coming for the race, and it's not looking good. Anyways, though, I am super, super excited to try out these new parts on the car and see just how fast we are. Can we take down that man? Lewis Hamilton, do we have what it takes? This car is insanely fast in a straight line now. We've got reduced drag. We have increased engine horsepower. I really have no excuse today. We've got to fly. Bring it to the line for qualifying lap number one. Yo, we do go faster than Lewis but we are a ways off Carlos Sainz. Man, Carlos must be flying. Yeah, I, I don't think I can match that. The man's going nearly a second faster than I am. I, I, I don't think I can do that, buddy. It's nice that we finally got some good qualifying results. There you go, Lewis takes me down. All right, so I will go out. I'll try another lap and just, we'll see what happens, okay? Yo, I've only got 15 seconds to get to the line. I. I don't know if I'm gonna get another lap in. I think I might have waited too long. I'm in P3. Seven seconds. No. No. Don't do me like this. No. Oh, that's got... That's got not bad. 
Not bad. No complaints. I mean, that calculated. Calculated. Anyways, I I have no idea how Carlos Sainz was able to do that. The man was insanely quick. Anyways, we will see what happens in a rainy race, though. Hey, I mean, let's see if there's any penalties. There's been a lot of people blowing up their engine recently, so it might be possible. We've got P1, P3 locked out for NCP, followed up by Esteban Ocon and Lance Stroll. Ferrari's finally getting their act together, qualifying inside of the top 10. Same thing with AlphaTauri finally doing pretty well. George Russell, not bad either with P15. Williams is still being Williams and Haas, Mick Schumacher. No, I feel for him every time. So the race strategy for today is a two pit stop strategy, always on the intermediate compound tires. I don't know what the tire wear is gonna be like for today, so we'll have to see. It's very possible we might get away with a one pit stop race. We'll see though. Anyways though, without further ado, Lean Revs clutches in, rev it up. And away we go. Not a very good start for us right there. That was very, very poor reaction time. Lewis already looking up the inside of Carlos Sainz. I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna go off the racing line and try to go around the outside. And that's worked brilliantly. NCP, P1, P2, let's go. I really should have put less fuel in this car. There is no way. I am gonna be able to use up that entire thing. Hopefully we can get away with burning some on these big long straights, but I don't know. Come on though, look at this. Carlos Sainz is absolutely flying out here. The man seems to know his way around France super, super well. That is insane. Look at the guys behind. They're all over the place. Carlos is nearly two seconds in front of me that is that's not good i've i've got to catch up to my teammate i'm pretty sure we had this same thing happen a couple of years ago out here in france when we had a crazy rainstorm as well and i had to completely change my method of driving i've got to do that again today so you know what it's only lap two but i'm gonna put some distance in i want to learn how to drive this car in this much rain it's gonna be a crazy amount of throttle control. But Carlos Sainz, 2.2 seconds in front. The no talking thing, I'm, I'm telling you, it works. A purple sector two, we're 1.8, 1.9 seconds behind Carlos. This is, this is good. All right, I've just gotta keep this up now. Oh, yellow flags behind, hold on. Yo, I went purple and then Lewis beat it. Instantly, hold on, what are these yellow flags behind? What's happened up here, bud? One of the Ferraris. Max Verstappen is out of the Grand Prix. That might be a safety car. Come on, game, you gotta throw a safety car for that. Max Verstappen is just, he's parked on the side of the road. What, why hasn't he left this race? There it is, Max Verstappen's out. And there's the safety car. Okay, I, I was getting a little bit worried there. So how are my tires doing? If you take a look in the bottom right, they're actually not doing too bad. We've done four laps on them already. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a one pit stop race, probably around lap 12, 13, 14-ish. Ooh, Jeff's coming over the radio. What, Je Jeff, why are you still want me to do a two pit stop strategy, bro? Okay, here we go. The safety car is going off into the distance. Can we catch Carlos Sainz napping on this safety car restart? I'm just gonna pretend I'm, I'm not even paying attention. You know, I'm just kind of falling back a little bit. Carlos, you do you, but I'm, I'm good. Sit rep, that didn't go very well. I was hoping he wouldn't do that. I thought he would just take the restart chill. No, I'm just saying, Carlos Sainz must think I'm the best teammate, essentially handing him the victory out here. No, 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 Carlos. I'm gonna catch you. Okay, so maybe I wasn't able to catch up to Carlos Sainz, but Jeff is telling me to come into the pits. He's literally yelling at me 
every single lap. The pit window's open. Come in when you can. If I was to pit on lap 9, 10 or so, that would mean that I would need to do a two pit stop strategy, right? I think the team is legitimately trying to screw me over. Here, take a listen to Carlos Sainz's strategy. They're on old inters. Their tires are nine laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time whoa, 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 whoa. What was that, Jeff? One more stop for Carlos? Why are you trying to make me do two pit stops, Jeff? My teammate is legitimately trying to stab me in the back. Get that blue line off of my screen. And Lewis, you can get in the bin as well. I'm just, I'm trying to catch my teammate. If I do catch him up, I'm gonna... Safety car deployed. The safety car has been I'm gonna deployed. spit him out of the race. Here's what I'm thinking now. We're on lap number 11. My tires are doing okay, honestly, and the rain is only going to get better and better from here. I think it might be beneficial if I go into the pits now to try to get a sneaky under safety car pit stop. This is such a risky strategy. It's actually insane. I'm definitely going to be the only person who's jumping into the pits. I really hope it pays off. I'm I'm just saying. I am dropping way down in the standings. Come on, boys. Let's go. Chuck those new tires on and... Exit. Exit now. Who, who's sabotaging me in this team? I've only dropped down to P16, so that's not terrible. My tires are looking beautiful. They will have no problem getting to the end of this Grand Prix, especially when it starts to rain a little bit less than it is right now. Let's go, Mr. Lando Norris. Are you going to let me up your inside? No, I'm th I, th I think I'm going to go right from over here. There's the green flag. For God's sake, I have never had worse safety car restarts than in this Grand Prix. It is absolutely ridiculous what's happening to me in this Stupid rain. Whatever. I'm just going to keep up with Lando, and you've got to remember, everybody else needs to stop. So I just need to be in the right place for when they do, and I can capitalize. Oh, I called that one brilliantly. Teammate is already in the pits. Some more guys are jumping in. You have literally handed me the easiest overtakes of my career. Let's go. Look at the pit lane! It is absolute chaos! We jump up to P4! Purple Sector 3! Purple Lap! No way! Let's go, NCP squad! Jeff, you can get in the bin. He tried to screw me over. Anyways, in front of me, I've got Danny Rick and Giovanazzi! Who's looking up the inside? I'm not gonna be any part of that. One of you guys are gonna crash. Your guys are gonna end up in the wall. I'm not about to have that happen to me. I I should win this race. All right, can you guys please, please, please go into the pit lane? I literally can't see where I'm going. Thank you, lads. Very appreciated. And now that should put me right up into P1. Carlos Sainz is behind how far away is he yo carlos signed 6.1 seconds behind a beautiful call let's go all right now i just i just gotta hold this to the end of the grand prix no more safety cars we've already had two and providing i don't bottle it i should have this grand prix in the bag you know what? Let's even go for fastest laps. Look at this. The heavy rain is going away. We are setting fastest laps. Let's go. Let's just, let's put some distance in and see where we are in like five laps or so. Yo, look at this. We're only up to lap 18 in the Grand Prix and the rain has gone and the sun is trying its hardest to come out that is insane so it looks like we will have to make another pit stop but it's gonna be to jump on some soft compound tires no way i think jeff has literally lost the plot the man just came over the radio and said come in for some more intermediate compound tires bro i want to know how much 
Carlos Science paid you to screw me over. Well, whatever. I guess I'm just going to keep putting some more laps in and I will jump on some dry tires soon because this is... It's getting a little bit sketchy out here, for sure. This is honestly a game of chicken right now. Carlos Sainz is not going in. I'm not going in. Lewis is still not going in. The thing is, the first person to stop gives up track position. And nobody wants to do that right now. I really, really want to get off of these tires, though. They are getting a little bit toasty. You can see... I'm losing gap to science. He's only 2.8 seconds back. Oh, no, 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 no. Jeff, what are you saying? Jeff wants me to come in now? There's only three laps left in this Grand Prix. I don't know if I should be trusting Jeff with how much he's tried to screw me over. Please do not let Carlos Sainz keep going. Carlos Sainz is, is still going. Carlos Sainz stayed out. Oh no, oh, I, I don't know what's about to happen. These are brand new soft compound tires, please, please. I've dropped down to P5. Oh my God, I'm about to lose so many places. Go, 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 P9, P9. Oh, I've got so much grip. Look at Pierre Gasly. Round the outside, it's a little bit slippery, but I will gladly take that position. Thank you very much. It, it's definitely slippery out here. It's no easy walk in the park, I can tell you that. But I am definitely on a better strategy than all of these guys. Here we go. Closing in on Aka. Oh, whoa, I've maxed out the car there. Jeez. Round the outside on Esteban Aka. Purple through Sector 2. That's gonna go badly. Oh my god, what a save. What a save. That's a drift at like 150 miles an hour. I'm literally the only person who's on softs. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Turn the car up, rich revs, battery, everything. Go, 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 go. It's Ferrari engine versus Ferrari engine. Reel them in, lay it on the brakes. That's what you can do with extra grip. Now just for Lance Stroll, who literally just, man, man just literally moved out of the way for me. All right, well, I've got two laps left to go, and the AI is pretty far away. I'm gonna try to close in. Carlos is going even faster out here. That's not good. Somebody please tell me I am flying out on this circuit. We go up to P4. We set the fastest lap by five seconds. Come on, let's go. Danny Kvyat parking it, literally parking it. I'm not signing you, you spoon. Look at Carlos, 16 seconds in front of me. What am I supposed to do about that? I I've got to catch up to Lewis, 2.6 seconds. Come on, come on, 2.2, we're gaining, 2.1. We're closing in on the back of Lewis. I'm just gonna sneak up the inside, <laughs> that's ridiculous. He had zero grip out there. That was insane. Unfortunately, the backstabbing traitor of Carlos Sainz didn't spin out. He gets the victory out here in Spain, and he's also just signed that he's not coming back to NCP. Carlos, you are getting replaced as soon as possible. As the owner of the team, I am furious. All of you. All of you are fired. Luckily for us though, Mercedes messed up that race. Lewis Hamilton, P3, not a very good result. And somehow, Valtteri Bottas, P10. What a disaster for them. In terms of the standings, Lewis still has it, but look how close it is between us and Carlos Sainz. And then in terms of the constructors, we've taken back P1. Very nice. At least we get some solid money from our sponsors as well. Nobody had damage. To be fair, it was a good race for the team, but that man, I am not happy with you.